a, a simpler way to get a sense, and you can put a finer point on it later. But here's how I assess whether an idea is good or bad. By its fruits. And what are those? Well, first of all, any idea that causes a lot of people to suffer for no reason is demonstrably bad. That's obvious. But I will also say that bad ideas produce chaos. They produce disorder. They produce noise. They produce ugliness, physical ugliness, aesthetic ugliness. Bad ideas produce ugly things. That's why our great basilicas are beautiful, right? That's why the dollar store is ugly. <laughs> because one grew out of the idea that we need to help the average person transcend his life and think about the next life, about the eternal, about God, and the other grew out of the idea, let's sell more cheap plastic crap from China to poor people, okay? So one grew out of, I think, the most noble idea and the other a less noble idea, and the results are obvious in the way they look. Don't ignore the obvious. If something is beautiful, what does that mean? By the way, beauty transcends culture. You go to a place you've never been where you don't speak that, go to Kyoto, Japan next week. Probably don't speak Japanese, probably don't know a lot about the Shinto religion, go to a Shinto temple. The first thing you'll notice, it's beautiful. Now, how did people 500 years ago in Japan come up with a building that you, as a modern American who doesn't speak Japanese or practice the Shinto religion, think is beautiful? Because all beauty is the same. And what is beauty? Beauty is truth. That's the first thing. True things are beautiful, and beautiful things are true. It's true. It's not opposed. It's real. It's real. And the most beautiful things are real. Your children, your dogs, nature, those are real things. They're beautiful. And the second thing you'll notice about it is that it's calming. Beautiful things are calming. They don't incite you, they calm you. They make you feel peaceful inside. And how do they do that? Through symmetry, through symmetry, physical symmetry. This side is equal to this side, just like in nature. Virtually everything in nature is symmetrical. Have you ever noticed that? In case you're wondering if there was a grand design here, I know this all evolved randomly, but somehow it evolved randomly in a beautiful way, in a recognizably beautiful way, in a symmetrical way. Now, why is symmetry important? Because it's a product of order. Order. Bring order out of chaos. That's how this all began, we learned in chapter one, and that is still, to this day, our duty. Bring order out of the chaos in your home, in the buildings that you build, in the politics that you participate in, order, not chaos. Chaos is a sign of evil, period. And you don't know how hard it is for me to use the word evil as someone who never grew up using the word evil, but I don't have another word for it. That's exactly what it is. So you will know that an idea is a good idea when the people who follow that idea have lives that are calmer more orderly, more purposeful, cleaner. By the way, filth, remember the phrase, cleanliness is next to godliness? We'd be like, oh, that's a Victorian phrase. They were so stupid. They had cities without you know, people smoking meth outside the civic center. Idiots. <laughs> cleanliness is next to godliness, actually. Yes, yes, you're a mother, I can tell. Right, all the moms are like, that's exactly right. It's true, though. It's true. It is totally true. So anybody who is pushing a program that creates confusion, chaos, disorder, anyone who is pushing cultural products, which is art, film, literature, quotation marks around all of them because none of them currently are art, but anyone who is pushing art on you that is disordered, chaotic, chaotic asymmetrical, architecture, Frank Gehry, anyone? What is that? It's disgusting is what it is. It's oppressive to the human spirit. It doesn't elevate us, it crushes us. That's what it does. It's exactly what it does. So that's how I judge it. And if you see enough of it, you know there's no rational explanation for this. Something else is going on. So why am I still in a good mood? And I'll stop